The man was lying on the ground with a camp rope tied around his limbs. The other end of the rope was tied to a white horse, one of the most gruesome forms of punishment in ancient times. Everyone has heard of the horrific image of being torn apart by a horse, but few have witnessed it. With a wave of the king's hand, the horse was whipped, let out a neigh, and then galloped relentlessly in for directions, tearing the man's body apart in the process. Catherine watched the cruel scene unfold before her eyes. Unable to face the evil she had committed, she felt suffocated and threw up at the sight. The May reminded Catherine that there is always a price to pay for dealing with the devil. The tailor's death was the price he paid for trying to help her conceive. Since joining the French royal family, Catherine had been harassed and ridiculed by the prince because she had not given birth to Henry's child. On this day, the king appreciates the prince. Much to Catherine's dismay, she went to a forest and found the last trump card she could play, which was the tailor's store. When the man heard her request, he did not give an immediate answer, but warned her of the many dangers hidden in the forest, warning her not to eat any brightly colored mushrooms, which could be poisonous. He threw her a book about poisonous mushrooms, and the deal was done. Then Catherine took her book to the tailor's room. Suddenly, they are startled by a loud noise. After bidding the tailor goodbye, they leave in a hurry. Catherine felt as if her troubles had disappeared. She even went to watch the prince play ball and sent her maid to bring him some water when he was tired. It was this insignificant amount of ice water that eventually caused the prince to suddenly faint. Despite the provision of emergency medical care, he was pronounced dead. The king was devastated and suspected that his beloved son had been killed by a Roman conspiracy. To appease the king's grief and avoid another war, the general assures the king that he will thoroughly investigate any suspicious circumstances, promising not to let the prince's death go unpunished. The general believes that this may be a personal revenge rather than a state-sponsored conspiracy. He searches the tailor's room and finds a book on poisonous mushrooms, concluding that the tailor is working on how to use them. Catherine is the only one who knows the truth, but she cannot admit that the book is hers, so she instead defends the innocent tailor. However, the general warns her that the king has blamed Rome for his son's death and that war is imminent. So, was it you? I am dressmaker. Under the general's threat, Catherine chooses to remain silent to save herself. The tailor is falsely accused and taken away. While the maids denounce Catherine as a cold-blooded snake, Catherine does not respond. But later, when she manages to conceive an heir and is announced as the new dauphin by the king, she smiles wickedly. The maids understand that they, too, are pawns in a game of power and could be sacrificed at any moment. They are ready to seek their own way out. While Catherine keeps her evil smile and rationalizes that sacrifices must be made in order to succeed, 